Welcome to the K-2 Online Back to School Boot Camp 2020 with Julia Hampton Morgan Memorial Library. We will now take a look at tumble books. Tumble Books Library consists of storybooks, ebooks, graphic novels, nonfiction, videos, language learning, playlists, puzzles, and games. Let's take a look at one of the books under storybooks. We're just going to give you a little sample of what it sounds like. <laughs> the early bird wakes Bailey up. It's time to start the day and get ready for school. Okay, you also have the option to your left to read it manually, to cut your volume on and off, to start the day, or if you need help, you can press your assist button. Let's go back to our main menu. Let's do read along. On the read alongs, they have it broken down by early readers chapter books, advanced readers, and children's classics. Shen Young, will you make a selection for us under advanced readers? As you can notice, you have the title of your book. You can read it online. You can add to your favorites. You can take quizzes, and you also have a section for book report. To your right, you have the book details. The author, illustrator, publisher, the word count, how long it takes to actually read the book, and your reading level, and whether or not it's an accelerated reader. Let's go to graphic novels next. On the graphic novels, you have classic characters, early readers, advanced readers, and mysteries. Let's take a look at mysteries. You have the same options that you have under your other book selections as well as the book details. We're going to show you just a few pages from this particular book. You can also, if you want to skip around, go through the different chapters under your chapter menu. Let's go back to our main menu. We'll look at one more section under tumble books, puzzle and games. Let's try memory games. Pretty good, Shinya, for your first go. Now, let's take a look at tumble math.
As you can tell from the title, TumbleMath is the same publishers as TumbleBooks. The different sections on the TumbleMath are counting, addition, subtraction, multiplication, word problems, geometry, fractions, place value, measurement, probability, division, graphing, finance, time and temperature, playlist. Let's take a look at multiplication. Under your multiplication, you have the title of your book, as well as the keywords. You have quizzes and your book details. We're going to just take a listen to some of this particular book, the very first book. Using your fingers in math. Did you use your fingers to count when you were in kindergarten? Our fingers can be handy when it comes to math. You may have used your fingers when you first learned to add. Multiplying by nine finger trick. One times nine equals nine. Two times nine equals 18. Three times nine equals 27. Four times nine equals 36. 5 times 9 equals 45. Okay, so now we're going to go back to the previous page and we're going to take one of the quizzes. We're going to use the quick quiz. Five out of five. Not bad, Shinyoung. Let's go back to our main menu. We're going to look at one other subject, finance. And we're going to select the very first one, a dollar, a penny, how much, and how many. This time, we're going to select manual. That way, you can go through it and read it at your own leisure. Let's go back to our menu and let's try the quiz. The quick quiz. If you have four dimes, three nickels, and one quarter, how many cents do you have? Nicole has two quarters, two dimes, and one nickel. She wants to buy gum that costs 50 cents. How much change would Nicole have left? If you have four nickels, two dimes, and five pennies, how many cents do you have? If you have two quarters and three dimes, how, much, how many cents do you have? Tyler's sister wants to buy Tyler a ball for his birthday that costs $24. She has four or five dollar bills. Does she have enough money? Very good. Shin Young hit five out of five again. We will now go to book flicks. Watch a video and have some fun. Read a book online. You're still not done. Learn new things and play games too. Listen to Beacon. He'll tell you what to do. Click on a category. Or click on the feature to begin. 
Okay, so that was self-explanatory, wasn't it? We have a, a lot of different selections. You can select your subject, and then you can listen to the video about the book, or you can read the man book manually. So let's select Animals and Nature. Animals and Nature. Okay, so when you select on the book, you have the option of watching the story, reading the book, and then for puzzles, you have word match, which came first. And if you need to dive deeper, you can explore more about the book on the World Wide Web or the Internet. Or you can meet the creators. So we're going to just listen to a little bit of the story, and then it's spring. Illustrated by Aaron E. Stead. First, you have Brown. Okay. Let's try one of the puzzles. Let's do word match. Read the clue below. Click on the word it matches. Match all the words to uncover a picture. To break out of an egg. Nice work. To produce flowers. Nice work. The parts of plants that grow into new plants. Sprout. Oops, try again. Buds. Oops, try See. Nice work. Young flowers or leaves before they open. Nice work. Nice, nice work. Nice work, Shinya. <laughs> Let's go back to our main menu. Animals and nature. We're going to try one more section. Let's go to Diary of a Worm. And let's go to It Could Still Be a Worm, which you can read. So you can read this book manually or read along with the narrator. How long is a worm? You also have certain words that are highlighted, such as earthworm. If you click on that, it gives you the definition of what that particular word is. Earthworm, a long, thin worm that lives in damp earth. Shall we try another game? Let's try this time, fact or fiction. Read the sentence below. Is it fact or fiction? Click on a button to give your answer. Worms write in their diaries. Nice work. There are many different kinds of worms. Nice work. Worms go to school. Nice work. Earthworms dig tunnels. Nice work. Great work, Shinyon. You redeemed yourself from the last one. Let's go back to our main menu. Read Animals and Nature. These are just a few of the different databases that are on our library's website that you can access. How do you access it? 
by typing in www.mccpl.lib.al.us. Hi, I'm Ms. Wright, and I'm here to talk about germs. And germs, when you think about it, are nasty, they're sometimes sticky, and it makes you sick. So germs are everywhere, and a lot of people have germs. Everyone has germs. I have germs, your friends have germs, your parents have germs, there are germs in your house, and germs in your school. So a lot of germs you cannot see, but the ones you can see, you can see under a microscope. So a lot of times we need to wash our hands to make sure that those germs are washed away. So the different ways that we can wash our, ha our hands is if we go to the bathroom, we use the bathroom and then we wash our hands. Um, when we go outside to play on the playground, the ball has germs, the slide has germs, the swing has germs, the germs everywhere. So make sure when you get through playing, go inside and wash your hands. When you have a pet, if you have a pet dog, a pet rabbit, a pet frog, they all have germs. So after you give your pet all the love you want to give it, make sure you wash your hands. When it's time to eat, mom or dad said, get ready to eat. You need to go to the bathroom and wash your hands. And sometimes afterwards, we get a little sticky, we get a little ketchup on us or, or some kind of food on us. We need to wash our hands after we eat. Sometimes we get a little cut on our hand or our arm or leg, and we need to take care of that. So the wound can carry germs. So we need to wash the wound, wash that little sore, put some medicine on it, and put a Band-Aid on it. And whoever is helping you, make sure they wash their hands as well. If you're babysitting, babies have germs. So you need to change their diaper. So change their diaper and then wash your hands immediately. How many of you do chores? Clean the house, um, clean up your bathroom, clean the bedroom, your vacuum, you sweep. Make sure that you wash your hands after your chores because germs can carry on to different areas of the house. When you um, get ready to help out in the kitchen, if you like to help mom cook, make sure you wash your hands before and after. Say for instance you would like a snack, um, probably an apple. Do we take that apple and rub it right here and bite it? No because that has germs and your clothes have germs. So you need to make sure you rinse that apple under the water and then eat it, okay? So also, when you deal with money, you have money in the store, you have money in your pocket, and money carries lots of germs. So make sure you wash your hands after handling money. A lot of times we get sick or we have, we have a cold or an allergy and we tend to cough or sneeze. So when you cough or sneeze, make sure you cough and sneeze in this area right here. So we're going to do a fake cough on the count of three. One, two, three. <coughs> okay, let's do that one more time. One, two, three. <coughs> okay, now if we sneeze, we cough, we sneeze in the same area that we coughed in. So on the count of three, I'm gonna do a fake sneeze. One, two, three. Achoo! Let's do that again. One, two, three. Achoo! Okay, so you have those germs in that area after you sneeze or cough. So make sure you clean this area because germs can carry on to the next person, somebody you actually care about, okay? When you uh, take out the trash, make sure you come back in and wash your hands. 
So we have Miss Green here, and she's going to come in and tell us all the things that she's touched today. Miss Green, what did you touch today? Okay, so I touched my car door coming in. I touched the door coming into the library. I had a bag that I carried with me. I've touched my bag. I've touched my desk. I've touched a couple of books. So I've touched a lot of things oh, that yes. might carry germs. <laughs> so your librarian has germs as well. So we're going to look at the germs that she has collected since she's been in today. Under the black light. Do you see all of the germs that she has collected? So you know it's very important that you wash your hands to get rid of those germs. Thank you, Miss Green. So she's going to wash her hands thoroughly. And I'm going to teach you how to wash your hands. So the first thing you need to do is wet your hands. Make sure you turn on the faucet. Wet your hands good. Then you're going to get the soap. The soap will help you to get those germs off. The next thing you need to do is wash for 20 seconds. And to make sure that you wash for 20 seconds, you can sing the happy birthday song twice. You can sing row, row, row your boat. Um, you can sing happy birthday to yourself. So there are a lot of things that you could do to make sure that you wash your hands for 20 seconds. Or you could count to 20. The next thing you need to do is to scrub really good. Scrub all between your fingers, under those fingernails, and all the way up to your elbows. Because a lot of people touch you in that area. And then you will rinse all of the germs and soap off. Get you a paper towel or a towel. And you're going to dry off. Then you're going to take that same paper towel and turn the faucet off because that faucet has germs as well. So we're going to see how well Miss Green has washed her hands. In the meantime, you're going to get a nice gift to take home. So if you drive up to your Hampton Morgan Library, you will get a salad shaker and a hand sanitizer. So your salad shaker, the way you use it is you put the salad inside, you put your dressing in this, and when you get ready to eat your salad, you open it up, pour the salad dressing in, and shake it. Okay? Inside, you have your hand sanitizer to use only in emergencies. So if you have warm water and soap around, you do not need to use your sanitizer. Only if you don't have warm water and soap around. Say for instance, in your car, okay, on long trips, okay? And you also have a fork here to use to eat your salad with. Okay, here comes Miss Green. We're gonna see. If those germs are off, and a lot of times your teacher does not give you but two minutes to go to the bathroom, so make sure you get it done the first time. What do we have? You got a little bit of germs still on you, so make sure you use your time wisely to scrub all of those germs off. Thank you. So you're also going to get a bat catcher game. This is a, like a fortune teller game that you can play and learn more about your bacteria. So don't forget that germs are everywhere. Make sure you wash thoroughly. 
with warm water and soap because that warm water will kill the germs and the soap will help as well. And thank you so much for joining us to learn more about germs. Thanks for watching the K-2 second graders online back to school boot camp 2020 with Julia Hampton Morgan, Memorial Library.